What's up everybody, it's your boy Zox and we're back with some more dislike. Now, we're gonna be getting into a very special Esper, Bernice, okay? Now, this Esper brings a lot to the table and I'm gonna, gonna go ahead and give her the title, free to play Goddess of Shield, or coverage, okay? Or we could just say shields. But either way, guys, if you find that you like this video, definitely make sure that you like and subscribe for the best dislike content. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight into it because we don't got no time to waste. All right, so first things first, when we're actually looking at Bernice, let's go through her kit for those that don't know, uh, and then we'll go and kind of build upon like relic sets that you can actually do for her. All right, so uh, first ability is Feline Grace, so attacks the enemy three times, uh, each dealing damage equal to 40% of attack with a 30% chance of inflicting defense down for two turns. Uh, then you have her S2, which is another three hits, uh, dealing damage equal to 60% of attack with a 50% chance of reducing the target's AP by 15%. And, I, and you know what's kind of funny is I don't even think a lot of people realize that she does this But yeah, she actually can reduce AP as well So that is another thing that actually makes her really good as a stand-in support um, But what makes her absolutely ridiculous is her moon dance ability So this grants all ally esper shield equal to 22% of Bastet's max HP for two turns And recovery for two turns If an ally is buffed it then grants them an extra 30% shield strength, all right? Now, <laughs> I'm gonna just put it to you this way. This character is literally a ridiculous sustainer. She can actually sustain teams by herself fully built, um, and it's actually like really ridiculous. So we're gonna get into her relics, all right? So what I'm actually running her on right now is the Ocean Wave set, as well as the Master Groove. HP percent is the uh, stat that I went for for the main stat, HP percent. And then of course speed uh i would say like depending on where you're at in the game you could like you know at least in early game you could settle for hp percent so you could get more shield coverage earlier in the game um but when you start kind of pushing through um you get to like certain content like fafnir you want her to be rotating um you know efficiently so the speed is kind of necessary for her um and then of course one thing if we go back to her shield coverage uh this scales off of her hp so the more HP she has, the more shield that she can give to her allies, um, which is really, really good. Oh, and one last thing too with the skills, these at max are on three turn cooldowns. So I think, yeah, both her S2 and her S3 are both three turn cooldowns, which are extremely low already. Um, and this is one of those characters that I mentioned before, the strategy of using ocean wave sets, which is the 35% chance of reducing all ability cooldowns by one turn. This then takes her to a two turn rotation if this procs and that ends up making her being able to just give that HP regen and that shield coverage uh, pretty quickly, which honestly in a lot of cases can make or break your runs. Um, but I will say alternatives, um, actually you can do like Windwalker set. Actually, let me show you guys this because I know uh, for a fact on global you guys uh sets look a little different um uh, i want to kind of talk about the uh the adamantine as well because the adamantine set for her um it's kind of varies depending on like who you already have on your comp running adamantine if you want to run adamantine you can but if you already have a unit that's running it then you're better off going with hp percent now granted windwalker is another option for her speed is still really really good as well so you have options in terms of what you can actually aim for and these are all sets that are pretty accessible when we're talking about like early game farming and stuff like that you can get a lot of use out of her and i definitely will say for those that are wondering should you six star this character absolutely my freaking bernice right now sitting at like 40k hp which is kind of insane in its own right but still uh now to kind of highlight her growth real quick um the stats that you primarily are going to see hp resist and more hp clearly a clear sign of what you need to aim for obviously defense subs don't um you know won't hurt you so definitely can aim for that definitely some accuracy wouldn't hurt either for her defense break but that's about that um in terms of you know her ascension uh for the resonance all hp bro all hp you don't need to go for anything else 
all HP for her. So 24% that ends up adding an extra 3k HP, right? Um, and that ends up being really, really ridiculous, right? So that's going to be that for Bernice's build and I guess what you want to kind of focus. So to show off her absolutely ridiculous sustaining capabilities, we're going to actually be using uh, Flow Runner from Sonic Miracle Difficulty 8. Uh, just two units though, and we're going to be using Lynn, especially because she was one of our more recent units that we actually covered. Just kind of showing the relationship relationship that they can share and just really in addition to her being able to buff herself and then Bernice coming out afterwards with her buff it is absolutely amazing so we're going to go ahead and get into the run real quick all right so let's see all right so we're going to start off with the moon dance let's see we're going to let the enemies the enemies now granted Lynn I think can get beat up pretty bad here so I'm just going to put that out there this ain't this ain't no walk in the park <laughs> so we're going to try to see if we can get her to proc her immunity. Okay, so she got her immunity proc. Shield should be coming again. And let's actually turn that off and let them go. So, yeah, look. Lynn is getting whooped right now, okay? But you might have just seen that little hourglass or that timer just kind of go off on top of Bernice's head. That means that it procced and it gave her the cooldown on her shield. So, instead of it being a three-turn cooldown, it actually ended up just being two just then. So, we're going to go ahead with that immunity buff. Look at how much shield in comparison to the beginning that she's actually going to get, right? That, <laughs> that much shield. <laughs> So, when you look at Bernice's health, that's how much shield she gets. And normally, it's pretty fair in terms of the actual ratio visually. Uh, whereas now, <clears throat> because she had that buff, you see how much extra shield she gets. And this isn't even considering if she already has her own shield on her. So, it is absolutely ridiculous on how, like, Bernice can actually sustain. And she's going to actually, on top of that, because she has the regen... All the shield is going to be taking the damage and she's going to be recovering HP. So you might have just noticed again. <laughs> again, okay. Now we're going to go ahead. We'll put it back on auto real quick. Let her proc hers. We just got a cooldown proc again. So now we're on two turn. And I wanted to just show you guys to see more shield coverage. And by the time that this is done, she would have restored this character's HP. This is why Bernice is probably one of the most broken shield sustainers in the game. Um, doesn't have the craziest heal amount, but look at her HP. Look at that. And then again, already has shield back up. So then that's more coverage. And it's just, it, it's just over looping that. It's just, it's so good. I cannot stress it. I mean, the main thing you really are going to be aiming for is that shield coverage um, and regen. If you can't get the defense break, that's even better. But honestly, dog, just off of that alone, she can sustain like so many different ki uh, kinds of comps. So that's going to be pretty much Bernice. I just want you guys to see the looping, man, and how ridiculous it is. Technically, I could actually, uh, I guess, farm this with them. So yeah, that's going to be pretty much that, guys. Let me know what you guys think. I'll catch you in the next one.